Hey guys, welcome back, and it's a quick review of the Sweden England game. Not a great game, really exciting uh, football. I really felt like I was watching Norwich, and a really good goal from Danny Welbeck to uh, well get us our first three points of the group stage, and hopefully not the last. We'll get, bear in mind we have Ukraine coming up in five days, four days. Really good uh, second game, and of course it's almost secured a qualifying space. I think we just need to draw against Ukraine, and we're through. So it looks like we might be joining France uh, going through, and of course Group B haven't played uh, their third day either. But it's looking like we'll be playing um, Spain if we go through a second. Uh, looking forward to the challenge if we can get it, but I can't see us beating them, sadly. With really high confidence, I've never seen England play uh, like this before. Really, every it was another game where you could obviously sleep, sleep, see, see the four defenders, the four midfielders, and the two men up front. And because of that, and that's the way that Roy Hodgson likes to play. Um, we were always there to defend the ball, and we were always ready to then push back up the field. There's always players behind the ball, and because of that, we were playing a lot better. And because of that, we got the win. Uh, of course, it took a bit of magic from uh, well, mainly Theo Walcott. Great first goal for him in quite a while. And a uh, great run. To be honest, when I saw the cross come in, I thought, oh, well, it's going to take a touch, try and turn, it's going to be another missed opportunity. But no, <laughs> took it on his uh, inside, outside of his thigh and just slotted it calmly through. Great goal. <laughs> a really great goal. Uh, I will say again, the title does say review. It's a review. Uh, and in the link somewhere uh, there will be the highlights for the game if you want to go and watch that and you just want to see that go straight away just you know you, you don't want to hear my review just go straight to the highlights they'll be down there somewhere but going on to Carroll's goal not a 35 million pound goal but it's made a bit of money back uh, I'm sure the Liverpool fans will be happy to see him next season uh, the two goals that Sweden scored the first one was scrappy and lucky um, and really I think it should go down as a Ken Johnson own goal to be honest it did come off his shoulder after Hart parried it and the second goal Glenn Johnson sorry was at fault again if you look especially on the highlights uh, the angle facing towards the players he stopped defending he literally stood still and let Melbourne just jump and head that was it it's poor you've got to be challenging the player but hopefully we have Croatia I'll have me having a review of that game and hopefully England have given me one more review, <laughs> one more game to review after as well. And I'm hoping we can get the win. Um, seven points in the group stage is very good. And of course, Rohrhoffen is still unbeaten. If I just quickly have a look at the table. France top with four points. Close followed by England with four points. Uh, France are only up because of a plus two goal difference. Uh, Ukraine are third with three points. And Sweden, of course. Commiserations, you are going home early. Uh, enjoy the flight home early. And to be honest, we'll probably see you in about a couple of weeks. But I'm definitely looking forward to the quarterfinal now. I think I'm. I can't see England screwing up, and if they do, I'm sorry, I jinxed it. <laughs> just come back to this video if we don't make it, and just dislike, dislike, dislike. Uh, unless you're, of course, a Ukrainian fan, and then just like it all up. But uh, I will be on Monday. I might do a video about the fixture list, maybe on Tuesday. Uh, just a quick review, go through it, uh, and uh, I for Norwich of course, the the old uh, green and yellow. But uh, I will also be posting up a video, hopefully by the end of like, next week, uh, about the Grant Holt and just chatting through what's happened with the managerial stuff. Uh, as always, guys, leave a comment because this is the same sort of format that will happen for the Norwich Central videos. So leave feedback, positive and negative. Uh, please leave a like. Uh, and subscribe to my channel if you're a Norwich or England fan and you want to keep watching these review shows. Uh, so I'll see you later, guys, and enjoy the Ukraine game.